Rick, this is a, a gigantic rain event. Yeah, it's a, a huge rain event for a lot of people and in areas that are really waterlogged and rivers are already full, and that's what we're so concerned about. Uh, if you look at the satellite map, this looks like not a typical kind of tropical storm. All of the energy is well displaced from where the center of the storm is. That's good. Uh, if that gets consolidated into one spot, that's when you see a storm strengthen rapidly. I don't think we're looking at that chance at all. However, it is moving over really warm water. This water is kind of at peak summer temperature, and we're just here in July, uh, temperatures running well above average. That's the case all across the Gulf. I just say that for future storms coming this summer, these temperatures are really warm and it could be a big problem for us throughout the summer hurricane season. Uh, we do have hurricane warnings all along the coast. Now, it's very close, the center of it to, coast, to the coastline might meander a little bit offshore and it's a slow moving storm because it's such a slow moving storm. That's why we think we'll see those rainfall uh, totals pile up so much. We're also going to see a storm surge with this three to six, three to six feet in the high points. That's not a lot of storm surge. It becomes problematic because of the rain that we've had over the last six months and the river levels where we are right now. Um, and we are going to see a lot of rain. Some spots, 10 to 20 inches of rain. Where you see that red, I just want to point out much of the state of Mississippi talking about five plus inches of rain. That's going to cause a lot of inland flooding very well away from where the center of the storm comes on shore. One of the other models we look at was kind of two basic ones uh, or two most reliable ones, both of them showing Mississippi. Mississippi and western parts of Alabama possibly also getting a lot of rain. So far from the center of the storm, people need to be watching this and having plans. What do you do if that flooding comes in and the rivers rise in your, your area, especially if you know that you're a river uh, flood prone area? Uh, we're going to see that for a lot of people. But the bottom line, all that water eventually has to get into the Mississippi River, which is already well at flood stage. And we're going to have a long term event here going on over the next number of weeks. Guys, a very worrisome weekend. All right, yep. Rick, thank you very much.